What is up, fam? Welcome back to Leslie's Tarot. Let's dive in and see what messages come out for you. Let's see what's going on. What's the energy? What's going on with Scorpio's energy right now? What's going on? Or who? Or what? what what's happening in Scorpio's energy? Obstacles, blocks, pathways, and delays. Okay. Some of y'all be careful of like traffic jams and stuff like that because that could be coming up with the obstacle obstacle cards the home card here you could like you could be traveling and come across like a traffic jam or something like that others of you if you're trying to purchase a home or something there could be an obstacle or a hurdle that you have to get over i right, maybe some sort of delay in like the closing or the sale of the home with that here what else is going on so some sort of blockage what, what's going on in scorpio's energy True love, pure love, honest connection. Some of y'all, there's a block um, in regards to like a true love or like an honest connection coming in towards you here, okay? It could be because somebody could be very emotionally detached or maybe somebody needs to get a divorce, okay? It could be because of a, uh, yeah, there could be a third party situation. There could be somebody in between, okay? Uh, in between you two. Somebody could be all up in y'all business, need to kind of get out the way. That could be the blockage, okay? Some of y'all is another soulmate or something. Maybe y'all have kids with this person, uh, work with this person or something like that. But there's a blockage going towards, if you hear noise in the background, that is my son shooting that Orby's gun, child, okay? He better quit letting my ear out one second because I, I got to get on to him. Hold on. Sorry. <laughs> he let my AC out. All right, what's going on? What else is coming towards Scorpio? Wallflower. Limited potential, shy, and withholding. Some of y'all are holding back from, like, dating new people, okay, or meeting someone new. Um, you may feel limited. Again, as a blockage. Uh, opportunities, dates, and abundance. Some of y'all are just kind of shy or, like, just holding back, yeah. Money and twin flame. Wow. Some of y'all are like getting into alignment with uh, money. Some of y'all could be getting into alignment uh, to work with somebody. Yeah. Partner up with somebody where you're going to make some money. That looks good. But you could be the one holding back or maybe you're having to withhold some sort of idea or something like that before you can do it. So what's this blockage got to do with? Let's see. We can pull that energy. See baby snow with a binky in her mouth. She found another one. Uh, what's the obstacles? Competition. Fancy living. Someone's used to living a good life. Okay, so this is like one of the obstacles could be somebody feels like um, you're in competition with them or they feel like they need to compete for their spot or you compete for their spot or something like that. So someone in competition with you or sees you as competitive. They may see you as uh, very competitive, okay? Like, I got to compete against this person and get this spot. Like, somebody somebody may be, maybe you're about to replace somebody or something like that. And this person, yeah, judgmental, child, material. This could be a very materialistic person. They could be judging you in some sort of way, like, you don't deserve this or you don't deserve this lifestyle or, you know. I deserve this lifestyle. You don't deserve this lifestyle. It could be that. Somebody just competing with you. It's, it's giving me, like, this person could feel like they're better than you or uh, maybe they make more money or something like that. So they're like, you could be the underdog. That could be what it is. So somebody could be trying to block you from leveling up, which is trifling. Because if you if you in competition with somebody, it ain't fair and square if you're blocking them. I don't know. But anyway, what's obstacles? Energy interference. See, mm -mm, see, somebody ain't doing right. Somebody, see, somebody trying to manipulate the energy here and stuff. Yeah, scream, ghost extremes for attention. It's like they don't want you to have the attention. They want the attention, so they'll do extra. They'll manipulate the energy to make sure all eyes on them. This ain't even fair. This ain't even equal playing field. This man, this trifle. It's trifling. Stubborn. This person is stuck in their ways. I'm telling you, this person is stubborn. Soulmate. Divine soul connection. So, yeah, this could be somebody you dated or you were in a partnership with. Twin flame. 
and tyrant yeah this is um some of y'all y'all get like y'all get into alignment or something like that or they don't want you to come into alignment with your person and this could be the reason why they competing with you and manipulating the energy here like this would be the type of person y'all both running in uh, a marathon right and they will purposely put their leg to trip you so that they could get ahead like this this is somebody that don't play fair with the tyrant energy cruel oppressive ruler uses force to control people like this is somebody they like you can do good but you can't do better than them that's this type of energy like oh yeah it's cool they ain't like if you're not a threat and long as you like beneath them you ain't nobody but when you start getting a little above them it's like oh no who are you who are you to think you deserve to be up there you need to like this is somebody that tries to like humble you or something but i child i don't it's two lanes on this street it's two lanes on the street so it's like y'all both could like go forward but this person don't want you to have this i don't know what's this obstacles leveling up they don't want you to level up your life is about to change for the better so they know that your life is about to change yeah preparing for what's to come they know oh this is why this person uh well this trifling so this person the reason why they're competing with you is because they're eating off of you in some sort of way shape or form energy vampire this person is draining your energy this is somebody that would keep throwing blockages so you would either tire out because they get something off of you being less than or tired or this is somebody like you have to put in quadruple the amount of work to get your recognition but yet this person still can't like this person does less work but because they take from you in some sort of way that's why you're having to like work triple the amount like it's something like that like preparing for it's like they don't want you to get something that's already meant for you like something that you deserve that you worked hard for they don't want you to have it what's obstacles powerful person in reverse yeah you could be very humble humble very humble person and it's like and that's why you're getting it yeah no oh, y'all dealing with narcissists Y'all dealing with somebody selfish, self-absorbed. They feel like they're God themselves, child. Spiritual narcissist. And then this person could be doing black magic behind the scenes, too. Like, manipulating energy, manipulating uh, spiritually doing stuff. Fog. Someone can't, be, can't see through a situation. Yeah. Creating illusions in the spirit realm. Doing stuff behind the scenes that don't need to be done. Like, spiritual manipulation. Like, well, God said that, you know, stuff like that. Or like they could really be doing hoodoo voodoo stuff behind the scenes. But they're doing it because they don't want to be seen doing this. Like they don't want to be seen as a cheater or a manipulator or a narcissist. Yeah, liar. So this person lies. So they're one way in front of everybody else. But behind the scenes they lying. Being manipulative. Mm -mm. So they could. this would be the type of person that shows up like they're very God fearing. But behind the scenes they doing low down dirty stuff. Okay. That's this energy. What's going on? That's crazy. Let's see. Clarify the obstacles part. That's crazy. And again, you're like humble. You over here minding your business, but this person could be competing with you, manipulating the energy. And they they not even the thing I don't like, they're not whoever this is, they're not even playing fair. Pay pay. Stop running in and out that door, baby. Thank you. Clarify the obstacles card. They'd rather throw a big old hurdle in front of you so you can't even move forward. This is messed up. Clarify obstacles. Clarify obstacles. One more, please. Thank you, Spirit. Too childish or immature to be in a real relationship. So whoever this is, this person is childish. They're immature. Really, they don't need to be in a relationship because really they need to grow up or like do something with themselves, okay? They held back your money on purpose. So, yeah, this, this is somebody that are like, they want to be looked at like the greatest. So, they take money from you or they steal from you or they hold something back that's rightfully yours. Child, lower back or upper back pain, okay? So, this person could be having back pain or you could be having back pain. Corruption in the workplace. Corrupt person. Yeah, this is somebody that, do, I'm telling you, this is somebody that does something corrupt. Like, they do something that that's against the law. Like, this be the type of person, they don't want you to get the position. So, 
they steal your check or they cut your hours or um, clock you out on purpose. Like they they do something like act like you know mess with your pay, mess with your money, mess with your deposit, or um, to make you look bad. That's what uh, child. They have a lack of support for you. Yeah, this person don't support you at all, at all. And people could be noticing that like this person don't support you. Child, this is crazy. This is crazy. All because they in competition. And again, I don't feel like is is Scorpio competing with this person? Is Scorpio competing with this person? Is Scorpio competing with this person? No, justice in reverse. It's an unfair situation. You're not even competing. This is so much corruption that even if you wanted to compete, you can't because whoever this is, they must have like a higher authority over you or something like that. It's it's unfair. Whatever they're doing, it's it's not even a fair play. I'm telling you, it's not even a fair playing field. Page of Pentacles, you could be new at this job, or like this person's like ba basically giving you like crumbs with this Page of Pentacles, like barely giving you anything. You could still be learning or something like that. It's it ain't even a fair playing field. Watching you move on and being happy really makes me mad. So this person pissed off because you're moving on and you're happy. So they decide to mess with your money, do something unjust, do something corrupt. Something about Friday could be significant. Let's be real. They completely fumbled the bag with you. Yeah, this is somebody that could have missed out on working with you or having an opportunity with you. So instead, they want to sabotage you. But that's a deadly game to be playing. And it's because they childish or immature. Look, court date, lawyer, legal issues. Some of y'all y'all might have to take this person to court. Somebody could be going to court. Yeah, this person was too childish and immature anyway. Can't even withstand a real relationship. And instead of sitting down healing somewhere, they want to like compete with you. So I don't know what the hell is wrong with this person. Clarify true love. Clarify the true love. Sadder person. Some of y'all, y'all true love could have tattoos. Or some about tattoos could be dangerous karmic ties. They may be tied to a karmic though. Revengeful, force and justice, malicious, or spiteful woman. God, dog. Who is this? Is this person, Spirit, is this person attached to Scorpio's true love? Is this person attached to Scorpio? Yes. Okay. This true love energy that's coming towards you, they could have, I don't know, this could be, on, and they could be honest with you about it. Like, hey, yo, I got this like revengeful type of ex or something like that. They may open up to you about it. Or this person's revengeful. They, they trying to like, I don't know they karmically tied to this person in some sort of way. I don't know if it's financially or what, but dang. Three of Swords. Bottom of the deck. And yeah, this person could be hurt or, or healing or, or went through some sort of hurt too. They may open up about. Good Lord. What in the world? Scream. Ghost extremes for attention. This person could like attention too. Or whoever they were with could like attention. Y'all are looking for like an honest connection too. Like this is giving me like one second. Okay, um, so yeah, y'all looking for equal reciprocity, equal give and take with the six of pentacles here too. Clarify that. Y'all want like true love. Y'all don't want somebody that's malicious and spiteful and revengeful. What's what's the true love energy? So y'all want a real soulmate. I want a real soulmate. Bottom of the deck, temperamental. This could make somebody angry or make somebody upset. What's true love? Yeah. Look, your luck is about to change. You feel like, for some of y'all, y'all feel like your luck is about to change. You're about to get with somebody that's like pure love, honest type of energy. Smudge, cleanse your space on itself. But you may still have to cleanse out your energy from this person. Yeah, insatiable female, never satisfied, always wanting more. Some of y'all dealing with somebody that... Now, if this is your partner, they could be going through this and they're dealing with somebody that won't let them go. It's like they, they could be really greedy, like they want this person to keep giving to them, but they're never satisfied with whatever this person can give them or in transition, shedding old layers, crazy. This person could be a little crazy or whoever this is attached to you, they could be a little crazy. What is wrong? Catfish. Someone's not who they appear to be. Somebody could have been catfishing somebody or somebody trying to catfish somebody like they're not crazy, but they are. Child with this energy. Uh -huh. 
some of y'all got a divine soul true love connection coming in okay your luck is about to change in love okay you are but you could be cleansing out your energy from some sort of crazy energy here whether it's a feminine involved overwork someone is doing way too much yeah because somebody is psycho so somebody got a crazy ex or like somebody that's crazy and attached to them in some sort of way or they're attached to this connect i don't know what I don't, I don't know what this has to do. It, and it has something to do with luck being on your side. Like good things happening for you. Or you having a lucky streak. Or you're walking into a lucky time in your life. This is like making somebody jealous and spiteful and malicious and revengeful. And it's like, no, you can't have an honest connection. Or this could be a guy, whichever. What's the honest connection? Or true love? What's that about? Oh. What's true love, child? This is. First of all, you got three, three, three. Your spiritual guides are around you, sending you love, support, and guidance. Okay, so you're being guided. Three, three, three. You're definitely moving forward. Black magic was put on your family. So yeah, somebody could be like sending negative energy towards you, your family, your children, stuff like that. Eleven, eleven. Intuition. Trust your gut and listen to your heart. You are on the right path. You know this. That's why you're getting away from this person. Or you know, okay, I need to cleanse. Anytime you feel that energy, you need to cleanse. Driving past your house or job to check in on you. Does this person know where you stay at? She's jealous of my baby mom. Strawberry cake or cupcakes could be significant. Is this person driving by your house or job? Wait a minute. Is this the new love interest that's coming towards Scorpio? Yes. So this has something to do with a relationship or... Yes. Some of y'all gonna get with a person. This person could be like driving past your house or job to like check in on you. Just to make sure you okay, right? This could be somebody you end up in a relationship with. Like they'll drive by. I don't know. Is it do they have bad intentions by doing this? No. Five of Wands. No. They're just trying to make sure you're not like they ain't competing. I guess they try to make sure ain't nobody else bring you lunch and stuff like that or something. At Pentacles, yeah. They want to make sure you're the only one working or ain't nobody trying to work with you or something. Something like that. It's like whoever this true love, honest connection is. They they want an honest connection with you. They want to make sure like you being honest with them or whichever, vice versa. They may they may even drive past your house or job just to check to see if you got somebody over there. Or if somebody up visit visiting you at your job, okay? Now it says she's jealous of my baby mom. Is this a person is this person attached to the person coming towards Scorpio? Yes, Ace of Pentacles. This person could for some of y'all. If you're the baby, if say you got a baby by this person, there's another female jealous of you. Now, others of you, this could be another feminine. I don't know if this person got a baby mom or something like that, but somebody could be jealous of this person's baby mom, which causes issues. Like, there could be a very revengeful, spiteful person. The moon, yeah, releasing fear, though. This person, they don't care about that, though. Now, if you got a baby by this person, honey, this person is coming towards you. They're trying to make sure you're okay, you safe and checking in on you and stuff. But, but whoever this other female is could be jealous of you if you're the baby mom. See, I don't like stuff like that, child. They be doing too much. Give me a little more on this. Tell me a little more on this true love, honest connection. What's, what's going on with this true love energy? liar personality disorder struggling to find self in that stable man that got their ish together so somebody could be telling some lies here somebody could be struggling with a they could have like a mental disorder or something like that child wait a minute now be careful of somebody coming towards your 
uh, y'all lying about y'all stability. Or be careful of a masculine energy coming towards you, lying about some sort of stability. Or so you may find that this person could be the crazy one. Bottom of the deck, fall. Yeah, someone can't see through a situation. There's a masculine energy that's full of shit. There could be somebody, look at there. There could be somebody that's coming off like this, an honest, genuine, loving connection. And this person's a whole damn liar. They're lying about everything. Their person, baby, they, they're lost in the sauce. They don't even know who they are. For some of y'all, say you're, why is she's jealous of my baby mom? There could be an insecure female attached to this person. I don't know what that got to do. I don't know if you the baby mama or they got a baby mama and this female is jealous of their baby mama and maybe they coming to date you. Like The woman already crazy. I don't know. Or maybe this person lying about it. Maybe this person's a liar. Maybe they made all of this up. Spiritual narcissist, why are you so obsessed with me? Setting intentions. This person could have made all of this up. Like, yeah, this person's jealous of my baby mama. And uh, they could lie about not driving past your house. Or they could be lying saying that somebody's driving past their house and job and stuff like that. I don't know what the deal is with this person. Manifesting? Very disrespectful. This person, red flags? Bad deal. Oh my God, this person's projecting. This person's projecting narcissist. Did you just fart? <laughs> Ari, <laughs> she bent down and let it rain. She just bent down. <laughs> I heard that. She bent down and picked up the pen. Because I gotta play with baby. All right, what's wildflower? Someone doesn't want to be seen. Now, now somebody trying to hide childhood fears. Someone is traumatized by their childhood. Sexual connection, strictly sexual, abused. So some now somebody trying to hide. Somebody could have been using abusing sex magic too, like using their sexual energy to get what they want out of a situation. Now somebody trying to run and hide. Child, what's the wildflower? Or they was trying to keep you limited, keep somebody from. Yeah, avoiding someone's avoiding you or vice versa. I'm telling you, somebody's somebody's avoiding you because somebody was doing something they had no business. Mm -hmm. Energy vampire. This person is draining your energy. This person was leeching off of you or off of this masculine or something like that, and now they're trying to avoid this person. Like, no, that's not what I was doing. Somebody been caught up. What's this wildflower energy? She uh, she devil malicious or spiteful woman. Here go this energy again. Who is this? Who is this? Catfish, somebody done catfish somebody, and they actually kind of crazy. Whoever this is, it's like they PTSD. You could have so suffered from this person with this PTSD. Somebody could have tried to limit your potential, okay, or some or or, or bitch tyrant at the bottom of the deck. Hold on, is there a jealous ass feminine energy or masculine energy? that was being unfair to you so that they could be shown in the light as this luck energy like they didn't want you to have a fair chance at something like this is somebody that did something to make it look like you weren't a good pick or a good option they made it look unfair they call they were cock blocking or caused blockages like oh i wouldn't go towards that person because they're a hoe or oh i wouldn't go towards that person because um they don't have enough money but really they were doing something in the background and they knew that luck was on your side, that if, if you showed up the way that you were supposed to, that you would get chosen or it, you would be the, the, you would have the opportunity. And now somebody's sitting back like, no, I didn't do that. I didn't do that. Now they're trying to hide. 
Child, what is going on? Because somebody wanted control of a situation. What's the wildflower? You could wake up. Yes, yeah, someone's about to receive a rude, rude awakening. Somebody, oh my God, it's coming out. Evil eyes, someone is wishing bad upon you. It's coming. It's being, ex somebody's being exposed. Somebody is being exposed about not giving something to you or, or, and it's something that's yours. Like somebody could have lied. For some of y'all, this could be two people. This could be a couple. Somebody could have been in competition with you. They didn't want you to be seen as the best choice or the best option. So they did some stuff behind the scene, being malicious and spiteful. And now they're trying to avoid like they didn't do it. This is trifling to say, oh, what's the wildflower? Ooh, what's the wildflower? Yep. Yeah, 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 yeah. This person has a big mouth. They will gossip and slander you. This person could have been gossiping and slandering you and all kind of stuff. Caused delusions to hide the truth. There it is. They destroyed the connection and have to walk away empty-handed. This per child, this person did this. Some about Thursday could be significant. Bottom of the deck, it was all fun and games when it was happening to you, but now it's happening to them. So this is somebody that was willing to throw, throw rocks and hide their hands. And make you look bad like you weren't a good pick because they were in competition with you. They didn't want to see you move on or see this person move on with you and be happy. Or they didn't want to see you move on and be happy. So they decided to like, you know, maybe they didn't show up right for their person or something. I don't know. They did something where they caused to fumble a bag, okay, with you or with an opportunity with you or with this person, whoever. They could have even lied to this masculine. Like say, and had this masculine all confused. Like, well, what do I do? Who do I choose? Whatever, whatever. Am I believing? Like, they could have believed all these illusions and everything. This person could have caused this. And now somebody waking up to it and realizing, like, oh, my God, this person caused all this mess. And I had me thinking one way about this person. That's not even really how it was. It's all coming together now. Holy shit. Give me another. Some about Thursday is going to be significant for you. What's going on? Rain clouds and thunderstorms. I got crying. Somebody could be crying like boohoo crying. But it could also rain this week, y'all. Or rain tomorrow or rain Thursday. You just finished the karmic cycle. Yes. And 777, luck, wonderful things are about to happen. Somebody was purposely doing something to either, they were either withholding information or they were trying to limit you or block you in some sort of way so you couldn't come into union or into a connection with a true love person. Like somebody that y'all had true, genuine love for. It was like an honest connection. Somebody threw like a whole bunch of lies in there, caused illusions, spread a whole bunch of bullshit. To get this person to either turn away from you because they knew like you were the better pick or you were the better option or but they they were in competition with you it's like they didn't like that y'all had this strong chemistry or something this is trifling whatever it was it was unfair baby that's about that boomerang back it's gonna boomerang back that's all right so yeah but some some has happened like y'all either need to clean out your cleanse your energy or this masculine energy needs to cleanse their energy. But somebody messed up like a real, true, honest connection for somebody. And now they're trying to run and hide like, no, I didn't do that. That's not what I did. Uh-uh, I didn't do that. Because all kind of PTSD and everything for a person. All because they want to be malicious and spiteful. Child, they finna get caught. Are they going to, what's going to happen? What's going to happen with this person? Spirit, what's going to happen with this person? The star. What's going to happen with this person? Four of Pentacles and the High Priestess. So they're going to try to like rejuvenate. Okay. You're going to get the recognition because you're going to heal from this here. Queen of Cups on the bottom of the deck. But like, yeah, whoever Four of Pentacles, this person was holding on to somebody or trying to hold on to these secrets here. But baby, you finna find it out. You finna discover the truth because you healing with that star card. This person ain't going to have no choice but to heal too with their little malicious ass. You already know. Three of Pentacles. Yeah, because ain't nobody going to want to work with them now. This person was being uncooperative, uh, disregard for uh, other people's feelings and stuff like that, or or expertise. Like This is somebody like, no, don't look at that person because they're not somebody you should work with, knowing that you got better expertise in the situation than they do. Like, all they did was cause frustrations for themselves because ain't nobody going to want to work and collaborate with them. Mm -hmm. Judgment in reverse. And this person got lack of self-awareness, unwilling unwilling to learn some sort of karmic lesson. Like, you, 
this person thought they were so much better than you, but they could have learned something from you. That's the crazy thing. If they would have just been willing to compromise or cooperate, but instead they felt like they needed to take you down because you were competition. And it wasn't even like that. Like you had some shit, you could have taught this person. Instead, they wanted to be malicious and spiteful behind the scenes without being seen. Like, please don't watch it. I hope nobody finds out. Yeah, look. I hope nobody finds out that I was doing all this behind the scenes. Baby, they about to find out. They about to find out. You know, cause this person all this PTSD and everything else, stress, trauma, all this stuff. They gonna find out that you did this all because this person was about to level up. This person was humble. They're about to level up and you want to compete with them and cause them blockages. That's, that ain't right. That That is not right. All because you you wanted the connection or you wanted the commitment or you wanted to be with a person, baby. If, it was, if the person wasn't your person, then it just wasn't meant to be. You ain't got to sit here and cause trauma and stress and all kind of stuff to to somebody else just because you want a position that wasn't even meant to be yours to begin with. Like that's crazy. Somebody else was meant to fill that in because they were more skilled for it. I don't know. Anyway, I'm live there, Scorps. That's what I have for you. Hope it brings you clarity and insight. Appreciate y'all so much for watching. Catch y'all in the next video. Bye, y'all.